Let's do this. G'day guys, it's Jerry here. Welcome back to the gaming video. Gaming channel. Can't English. Um. Sorry, the flowers are annoying me now. <laughs> we'll do. Let's have a bit of blue in this one. Yeah. I love blue flowers. <laughs> okay. Before I keep getting distracted by the beautiful flowers that I was given. You're probably thinking, what the hell, Jara? What's going on? Why are you acting like this? Why are you... Why did you take some time off? You kind of talked about it briefly. What's going on? Now, I've seen your guys' comments, which I'll put up here. Basically, first off, thank you so much for all of you guys' concern and support through my one week of break, pretty much. Um, I just want to talk about what's going on. Why I did not upload and what's happening and just kind of open up, be honest, and just go. So over the past couple of weeks, I've been kind of hitting rock bottom in the sense of my mental state. My mental state hasn't been the greatest, actually not even the past couple of weeks, over the past year, from beginning of the year to now, I haven't been the greatest version of myself I could have been. And I don't mean that in the sense of like, oh, you know, I could be a better friend, I could be better this now, I probably could be, but I haven't been a good Jada. So if you don't know, my name is Jada. Um, I haven't been a good me. I've had a lot of, like, I've had a lot of dark thoughts, I've had a lot of issues brought up, I've had a lot of things that have had to change. Because I'm now 18, I just had my birthday on the 28th of September, which just passed by the time you guys see this. Um, it's also been four years since I uploaded my first video YouTube video to my old account, which is now being revived. So happy four year birthday for me on YouTube. It's crazy to think, but that's not the point. I need to stop getting distracted. I took some time off because especially this past week, I was just at a point where I wasn't happy. I hated everything. I felt like I had everyone and no one at the same time. I just felt, I felt bad. And I know some people are gonna watch this who are family and friends and I don't want you guys being concerned. I'm sorting myself out and I will be okay. I, you know, I have some really close friends who I'm, well, I have a close friend actually, who I'm so thankful to have in my life. He's been helping me through a lot. He's supporting me a lot. And he's literally putting up with all my bullshit. He's just literally putting up with me and I'm entirely thankful that he's decided to put up with me when he could have chose to leave and not deal with my stuff. So if you watch this, my friend I call brother, thank you for all of your support. It means the world to me. And of course I have an amazing boyfriend who's been my boyfriend of brain function eight months? nine months on the 10th <laughs> um he's also been helping me as well a lot of things have happened whether it's been st john stuff which i don't want to talk about because an investigation is being brought up and i don't want to say anything in case it makes the situation worse i don't want to do anything like that um but if you know this year's motto is for 2018 it was to support my friends more. Whether it's telling them how amazing they are, telling them that they're loved and supported or just talking to them more or hanging out with them more or being with them more. I want to do that and I've definitely opened up a lot more this year as well as a person. I've you know, told my friends things I haven't told them and especially one of my friends. I've been friends with her for 13 years and I haven't told her a lot of things. 
because I was too afraid to. So this year I started to slowly open up and it's been tough. It's definitely tough, but in the long run it's been good. In the long run it's been good. But it's not, this isn't why I took time off. I took time off, I could use the simple excuse of going through year 12, finishing off schoolwork. If that was the case, I would have taken months off, but I didn't. I just genuinely was hating myself. I was hating the person. I literally was hating me. Who I was, what I looked like. I hated my voice, hated my looks, hated my body. I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning, didn't want to talk to anyone, was sick and tired of Sometimes putting a fake smile on in the morning, like it was lipstick to some girls, or lip balm, or you know, cream, or whatever you want to call it. I was sick and tired of, you know, waking up in the morning and getting a text from my boyfriend telling me, have a good day, and my brain just being like, just hate yourself. Why do you deserve him? You don't deserve him. You're a horrible human being and you should be hated. These are thoughts I was having and they got exceedingly worse and it sucks, you know, because you can't just say to yourself, oh, be better, you know, turn off your thoughts, you'll be fine. When you're really not fine. So I took off three days of not filming. Granted, I'm probably going to take off the next three days realistically because I haven't filmed and I don't have time to, if I'm allowed to be honest. I might see if I can here or there, but it might be these videos. More sit down, talking, and ease back into gaming. I just... And I talked about this a little bit on Twitter, but even then I cut myself out of Twitter. I barely on Instagram and I stopped using Snapchat with my friends. I just stopped. Stopped everything. I stopped making music at least for a while. I'm back on doing that. I stopped because I felt like I wasn't cared for I wasn't anything I just felt horrible I, I'm not saying my entire week has been horrible don't get me wrong I've had some amazing moments both this week and last week I really have and tomorrow is going to be a better day because it's my birthday um, which by the time you see this, it would have been Friday for me, um, Thursday for you guys. But I, I just had so many bad thoughts going through my head. I just couldn't deal with it. I didn't think it was fair on you guys to kind of keep pointing out really somber gaming videos, and that's not what you guys subscribe for. You subscribe for happy, upbeat gaming content and I wasn't giving you that and it wasn't fair. So I thought taking a break would be the best thing. I wanted to see how I would work. To be honest, I checked comments every single day. I was excited to see when the video next video would upload, realizing I didn't have a video to upload. I was missing uploading stuff, I was missing creating videos, I was missing being on the computer, playing games, being in my element. I missed that. It was the only time it was a me time. And I sabotaged myself by taking that away. I do want to say sorry. It, it's not fair on you guys to not know really what was happening and what was going on. I just, I didn't really need some time to figure out what was going on up here and in here. 
and seeing if maybe these guys can talk to each other. Um, I'm definitely getting in a better state. Right now, I'm not the greatest. Doesn't mean I can't improve. It means I will improve. It's as simple as that. But, yeah. I think for the week after you see this, so like October, the first week of October, will kind of be more um, videos like this and I'll go into gaming and then we can do some horror games and have an exciting video for October 31st. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, I'm just wanting to say sorry about the break. I genuinely needed it. I really just needed a moment to myself where I wasn't thinking about are people liking the video? Is the content good? Am I, you know, making people happy? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am not going to do the normal outro. It just doesn't feel right. Again, I just want to say thank you for all of your support. And your girl's coming back. Might not be 100%, but things are looking up. Even when they're down. I've had about enough looking at the ground. So yeah. That, yeah. And that kind of sums everything up. Um, yeah.